Good morning, people of the internet. It's cold. It's dark. It's 3 a.m. I gotta be to work at 6. My name's Josh. Welcome to the shop. Let's go make something. Let's go make coffee. Seeing as how this is my first video, and I still have a ton to learn about how to record and edit things that don't suck, we're going to ease into this and start with some of the simpler projects that I just need to get done. In 2020, I built my workshop on the slab of an old 16 by 20 shed that's been on our property since we moved here. So this year, I'm going to bring you all along as I finish building out the inside and acquiring more tools for my more creative and complicated projects. My workshop, however, currently lacks pretty much all of the basics, like benches and tool storage and just places to set stuff. So for the first few videos, we are gonna work on making things that help organize my workspace. The last step towards that goal that I neglected to bring you all along for is this here French cleat. YouTube's full of videos on how to do French cleat and I'll do a little blurb in this one before we start building anything else. It's very, very easy. As you've probably guessed, for this video, we are gonna build boxes that hold all of my individual tools and all of their bits and bobs up on the wall. I'll add a link in the description to somewhere that you can get like a PDF cut list for all the things I made for this video, keeping in mind that those cut lists are fairly rudimentary as I am not a professional anything. The very first thing that's in line for a pretty new box is my drill and impact driver set and all of my drill bits. So I'll go through this build in some detail and then we're just gonna kind of quick build everything else and I'll show you what it all looks like on the wall. So you get to sort of see the process, but it's not gonna be really like detailed instructions on how to do it. So with all of that in mind, let's go start building some boxes as soon as I figure out how to get down from here, because my legs are starting to go down. So real quickly before we get started, if you've never seen French cleat before, it's a board cut out of 45, get your French and your cleat. I don't know what those parts are called. This is my setup, it's 12 feet long, made a three quarter inch pre-finished birch ply that I cut into four inch strips, and then I cut those into three and a quarter and roughly three quarter inch strips. Uh, and then I used a Forstner bit to drill some holes for washers and screws to hang it on the studs. Just make sure you don't hang it backwards. Very easy. Let's go build stuff. So this really isn't meant to be a tutorial on how to build all of this stuff to hang on French cleat if you want to build any of it. I just wanted to sh go through the first build in some detail to show you how I made all of these different boxes. They all start the same way, and I did all of the cuts using my table saw, circular saw, and jigsaw. I took a full sheet of half inch birch ply, and then I cut that in half with the circular saw because I can't do a full sheet on this table saw. After that, you just follow the cut lists, cut out all of the pieces for the main box, and this one, you have to cut out pieces for a drawer. Once you do cut the pieces for the drawer, take all those sides, and you have to cut a dado in the bottom to accept a quarter inch drawer. I like to leave about a quarter inch of material uh, in order to hold the drawer bottom. So once you've got your dado cut in the drawer assembly, you can cut out the bottom or the drawer and then take everything over to the assembly station. I dry fit everything before I glue anything because I wanna make sure I have all the right parts and that I know how it's supposed to go together. Once you've dry fit the assembly for this box, it'll look like this. It's pretty easy. Your drill and impact driver will hang and then you'll have some shelves for boxes for drill bits and whatnot. And then the drawer on the top is gonna hold all of my extra drill bits like my counter sinks and auto centering. Once you've done your dry fit, you need to permanently attach everything, which I did using mostly brad nails and wood glue and then one inch Craig pocket hole screws where I needed extra strength or I just forgot to do something. Once you've permanently assembled everything, you gotta hang it on the wall. 
I just attach one cleat at the top of each box and then hang it and mark where I want to attach a second cleat because I like how it stabilizes things and I think it gives it extra strength. Once you've finished building and hanging it, you have a pretty box that looks like this. And we do have a whole bunch more of these to build and I'm already tired of talking. So let's just, let's just go build all of those. Like now. Okay, that all went fairly smooth. Let's see what we've got left to build real quick. Okay, I think the vacuum spool is actually going to take too long for this video. We're already like nine minutes in, and that's got like a whole bunch of parts, like 20 plus hours of 3D printing. So I'm going to have to do that in a different video. Check the description below to find a link to that. Let's go hang... The, everything that we've built so far. Built a lot more than I thought, actually. And crushed my finger at one point. Let's do it. Let's go hang some stuff.
put the French on the wall, the cleat on the boxes. That's cool, you know, I think I got this. Build it and hang it and rearrange it. Organize the shop, but in the future you can change your what? French cleat. I build what? Twelve solid feet. <laughs> I need to take a nap. Thanks for watching. with a door and two beds. Okay, coming up. We gotta get your uh, hearing protection on. Okay, so we don't hear put my ears? Yep. Beautiful. Got a bed inside for you. Subscribe.